So even in traditional, uh, more conservative markets, should we be using more aggressive methods of sale? Most traditional methods, we've got auction, we've got private sale, and of course there's a lot of people starting to use sale by a certain date or offers by a certain date, which is essentially a tender situation. But I thought today we'd actually just focus more on the auction side of things. The auction system is a far more aggressive form of marketing and it sets down time frame, and it's not for everybody. So it comes back to, I guess, almost like the Fight Club rule. The first rule of Fight Clubs, don't talk about Fight Club. The first rule of choosing a method of sale is there's no set rules. Choosing a method of sale is personal. It depends on you, depends on your situation, it depends on your marketplace, and it depends on your property. And in every situation, that will vary. Let's look at why auctions can work. Some of the major benefits of auction is simply the competition. Let's face it, we've all been to charity auctions, we've all spent time sitting in that situation, bidding for a, a trip to Bali or a football jersey. That fear of loss or that competitive spirit, it's in us all. That competition can often spur buyers to go well beyond where they would probably normally set their limits right from the word go. So that adrenaline, that opportunity on the day can spur property prices to actually go a lot further uh, than what we would normally expect. See, competition and auction is often spurred on by the fact that you're so close. The fact that you're only one bit away, just that next $500 or an extra thousand dollars, that is the emotion of an auction and that's what can often spur that extra spirit of bidding. And that's why we see so many uh, record results being hit by auctions because that emotion kicks in, the adrenaline kicks in and we see some incredible competitive spirit of bidding. One of the other major um, advantages of an auction is you don't have to set your price until the day of the auction. You have to set your reserve until that very moment before you step or the auctioneer steps out uh, to the crowd. And the biggest advantage of that, uh, probably let me put it this way, let's flip it if you're doing a private sale. The very day that you go to market, you've got to set that price. Now the danger of that is, what if you overprice your home? What if you put too much on it? And let's face it, we all want to get the best price we can. But if you overprice your home, the problem is, if the market reacts negatively to that, if you don't get the interest you need, you start becoming the property that has to keep dropping their price until finally someone uh, steps in and sees its value. And that's not good for anyone. Now, sales is about momentum. You want to be going forward, not backwards. With an auction, you don't have to set your price till the day. So the biggest advantage of that is that you can actually get some feedback in from the market first. You can actually gauge a buyer's response, where they feel the value is. That allows you to set an educated guide on where your reserve should be once you've received feedback from the marketplace. That's a huge advantage. Probably the other thing to talk about really is the fact that on the day of the auction there are no conditions. You set the terms of the auction. You set uh, how many, uh, what your settlement period is going to be. You set the deposit and everyone bids under those same terms and conditions. There's no cooling off period in Victoria when you bid under an auction condition, so that's also a massive advantage. So essentially, the day that the uh, hammer falls or the contract drops, the property sold, the sold ticket goes up, there's no subject to finance or building inspections, it is a final done sale. And that's a massive relief for vendors, knowing that they can just lock themselves in and it's done. So guys, probably at the end of the day, the best way to sell a home is what, what suits you best. Every vendor, every property, and every marketplace is gonna be different. Hopefully, you've chosen your estate agent well and you've chosen us, and we're gonna guide you through that process. Talk to us about it. We don't pay our sales team any more or any less whether they choose a, an auction or whether it's private sale. So when one of our sales team talks to you about the best method and they suggest an auction, it's because they genuinely believe that that method is gonna suit your home. Um, if they say they use a private treaty, listen to them. There'll be reasons for that as well. But at the end of the day, do what's comfortable to you. Do what suits you. We are seeing in our marketplace at the moment a far more aggressive marketplace. We have far more unconditional buyers than ever before. And I just feel at the moment we're turning into a far more uh, suburban or even Melbourneian type marketplace. And the auction system, albeit a little bit more aggressive uh, in the way they are marketed, they can have some significant advantages in such a competitive marketplace. So, Guys, I can be a little bit biased. I'm an auctioneer. I'd probably auction cereal in the supermarket aisles if you let me. Um, so I do love auctions, but they're not for everyone. But when you're choosing to sell, talk to the agents uh, and get their opinion because there are some significant advantages.